Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Summit Euro Playoffs, uh, presented by Twitch, of course, and I'm LD. I'm joined here by Mott Dota 2. Hello. Or, or Mott, for short. Just Mott. Just Mott is fine. Mott Nips. Mott Nips, Nips is good. Mott Notes is good, apparently. The notes. I mean, the, the I've nip, got everything going on. The Nip for Notes. Me. Yeah, exactly. What, what's your name nowadays? It's just, it's just Mott. Just Mott. Okay. Well, I'm joined here by Mott. And we're casting a game. Yes, we it's are. It's a best of three. It is, in fact, a best of three series. It was supposed to be Fnatic versus Dog, but the sponsorship gods have just hated on us and ruined everything. In fact, it's Fnatic versus Mouse Sports. Yes. Awful name, horribly inferior to Dog, and they're probably going to lose the whole series because oh, they've man. gotten sponsored. So <laughs> let's just let's just watch them lose. Let's just get it over with. <laughs> Please, it's the end of the game. Mouse Sports, though, they had such a good start in that last series of that last game. This it's time, all it's all a lie. All for naught. Yes, it's total bullshit. I gotta say though, I mean, I was they I was, they did crush Fnatic, but I think Fnatic's draft was pretty bad against Weaver, honestly. Well, yeah, they weren't expecting that as well. Almost like Mouse kind of just knew, like, okay, it's fine that we have these heroes that we have. We could just get a Weaver now. We can lane whatever we have. Like, have the the Wraith King made it'll be fine. We don't necessarily they, they just played around their draft. They didn't kind of say they didn't force themselves into like the standard any laning roles or anything like that. It was just kind of interesting to see. So. In all honesty, I was waiting for Dog to get picked up by a sponsor, and I'm glad that it's going to be somebody as big as Mouse Sports. They've had success in the past, and um, as much as I like the name Dog, as much as I like the name of other teams that, like Sad Boys, for example, shout out to Conrad, um, I, I do like the new name uh, just as much because it's a familiar band brand, excuse me, and well, IO is going to get picked up here, so. <laughs> I can't do Conrad's just fucking with Mott really hard right now. You are. Mott's, with this, uh, Mott's with succumbing monster. to it. Yeah. You got me, dude. Way to play. We're in the draft. Excellent. Yeah, <laughs> Mott's like, please. I'm, I'm getting out of here, please. guys. Let's Move keep on. going. Let's just, okay. let's first, just talk about Dota, guys. Like, please. First overall pick was the Wisp yes. by Mouse Sports. Yes. Uh, interesting against Fnatic, because the other option is just to ban it, but... They didn't want to give away Bat, and they did not want to give away Lycan on the Dire side. Something Fnatic do run on occasion. We've seen a lot of Lycan picks just completely flop, even Dire side Lycan picks, over yeah. the past, I would say, two, three weeks. But yeah. they go Darkseer Tiny. So they Ten secure two cores early on, both melee heroes. Uh, Tiny with a pretty weak laning stage. Fnatic, a team that's known for, at the same time, laning creativity. They're not afraid to run dual lanes. They uh, even yeah. can run support Tiny. They've done it before. No Tails played Tiny, and uh, just basically you walk around, try to pick up a rune, toss somebody back into their tower, into your tower, and kill them. And uh, they can be creative with this, but mm, you pick Darkseer Tiny early on. It's going to be two melee heroes, and let's see what Mouse looks to do. They'll go for Nyx. That's pretty much Mouse guaranteed Carapace procs all game long with Iron Shell, Avalanche, and uh, no, two fairly mana dependent Magic. heroes. Tiny Turn with a pretty small bad. mana pool as well. It's uh, it's a very gank oriented draft for Mouse Sports early on. Yeah, it it certainly is, and I like that because that's kind of what they had in that last game as well. They Mouse went around, they were getting kills as much bad. as possible. They wanted to make sure that they were the ones being aggressive. It feels like also Fnatic they forced this tiny pick. They didn't have the IO to combo up with it. We've seen I uh, tinies work without IOs before, but it just feels like it's not necessary here. The life stealer didn't work out for Era, but does that mean you go straight Tens into a tiny? Tens I'm not sure. Like, does he only have two heroes? Like. Like, do you have any other heroes there? I mean, his his tiny does have a disgusting win rate. It does. I'm not saying it doesn't, but at the same time, like, like I, I say yeah. disgusting. I we don't have K-pop Toastus here, and Roland is basically just snoozing in a chair. So I'm gonna do Roland's job for him and, and look it up. But jeez, jeez. Yeah, I mean, we get we just so stick to observing Conrad. Here. He's like challenging me to fights, but I mean, <laughs> first you got to start by not missing kills, man. Oh then you can man! Look. All right, all right. There's too much flame in here. We're getting back into the draft. We're right in the ship here. LD's looking up stats right now. In okay, meantime. last time Era played Tiny, he went 0 and 4 against EG, uh, and he did not have a Wisp with him. So there you go. That's it. You don't have the Wisp. All of a sudden, you're 0 and 4 against EG. What happens against Team Dog, aka Mouse Sports? Okay, then before that, he went 17, 5, and 8, but he had a Wisp. So See, well, we're going to ignore that. That's the key. That's the key. And before that, um, he played Tiny, went 3, 3, and 5, and let's see. Wait, who won? Why is it not giving me a winner? Oh, he lost that one. <laughs> See, there you go, man. Listen. <laughs> Three the games. The, the one game he had a OSP won, the other two he lost. So, it's the yeah. oh, That's just a very, it's a very anecdotal sample size, but it's not looking too promising. I, I got to say, but the thing is, though, 
the, now sports pick it up. So they have the IO to work with. And there's no better team that knows what, you know, what an IO can do than Fnatic. Like, they know how this hero works. They've played it so often. No Tail is like the mastermind. Well, at least one of the masterminds of that hero. So the fact that they don't have it probably doesn't really scare them that much. Then again, like, any team to play against it is kind of frustrating. Yes, they did have that tether change to IO not too long ago. But, like, Relocate's still good. It just depends on who they pair it up with. There's certainly a lot of heroes in the pool for mouse sports to pick it up with. And I, I don't know. Do you think... What hero do you think works best with this IO in this situation for mouse sports? Mm, anything, really. Like, Wisp is... Everyone knows it for Tiny Wisp, and obviously that's the strongest combo because you can threaten late game, and you can gank early, and um, Tiny's a very strong hero to back up. He synergizes... He needs attack speed, which you get from the tether, from the overcharge. He's also very durable in general with the overcharge, and... The Ghost Fan instead, that's not a bad partner. Cleave Monster, pretty tanky, uh, decent ganker. I'm mainly curious to see how they look to play this Sven, because honestly, we have not seen much Sven recently. I don't know when the last time we did see Sven, but he like got, it was not, not that big of a buff, but like a six damage buff in the last patch, and before that, I think he got some decent armor as well. So this hero has yet to see he's a lot of He's been played, play. to echo what you're saying, he's been played four times in 6.81. And this patch was released, I think, like at least two, three weeks ago. At yeah, this point. so they've had plenty of time to pick the hero. Now sports, they have like, they have, I guess, a game to experiment with. They have the lead right now against Fnatic. They might want to show it It was out, released like, almost three weeks ago, April 28th. I mean, like, you have a lot of time to experiment with this hero, too, also. So, like, if, if Dog, like, maybe experimented with this fan, maybe they've got the strat going for them, and, like, a, they used it in the scrim or something Ten like that before. So, I, I'm i excited. I'm also a little... Five I'm not sure three. about it, because I don't know, really, is it going to be a decent hero right now? Is it going to do well up against uh, Fnatic? They'll pick up the Enchantress as well, which is good. Untouchable is pretty nice to have against this fan specifically, but she can also rotate, get early ganks going. Dazzle now coming out for the side of Mouse Sports Fnatic. here. And we're getting into the tail end of the draft here. Yeah, this is an impossible to kill Sven. Grave, heal, you have the weave. He's already got insane armor from Warcry. And now Tether, uh, or uh, and previously Tether as well as Overcharge. So yes. you don't want to try to focus the Sven. You want to kill the Wisp, you want to kill the Dazzle. And frankly, Fnatic are not that great at getting to the back lines. They don't have a Wisp of their own. They don't have a Doom or a Storm Spirit, someone who can just jump those heroes on the backside. So, well, it, a lot of this game to me just comes down to positioning. Like, can they find the can they find the supports? If they don't, and they have to focus Fen, that's not a good fight for Fnatic. No, I mean, assuming it's a mid game team fight. And outside of that, mm, their laning stage for Fnatic is okay. Rubik and Chantress are good roamers, but you're supporting a tiny. You can't just leave him alone. Well, yeah. maybe you can against Mouse. Their lanes are pretty weak, but eh. I mean, the thing you want to generally you want to secure Tiny's farm quite early. Right. The thing is, we you could see theoretically an aggressive tri lane come out from Mouseports because that enchantress is going to be in the jungle. Seconds, It'll be like a Rubik and a Tiny, which is not the best lane. I own an aggressive tri lane. We see sometimes, seconds, I guess, it's not the most common thing in the world, but I feel like this is one of those really weird situations where Io so together with a Sven and a Dazzle could actually just wreck face. So. Well, we'll see how this draft plays out. There's still one more ban for Mouse Sports. It's going to be the Crobulus, the Death Prophet now Fnatic banned out here. So they want to make sure that there isn't that extra bit of push and uh, that mid lane pressure coming out with Crypt Swarm, that amount of damage. Now, what do you go for Fnatic mid for Heine here? He's got a couple of options. They'll go for the Brewmaster, which we've seen a lot of play recently. I feel like this is actually a solid pickup in this lineup. I, I like this a lot. Okay. Brewmaster for Heine. It's a pretty tanky hero. Uh, yeah. Good against right click. Yeah. Mm, yeah, and most of the damage from mouse sports is spent. So I think this is where like you're you're kind of forced to go BKB for the Sven. It looks to be the one position hero for this team. Yeah, and that's just kind of it slows them down. You can't go early Mask Amandis. You can't go early Armlet. And well, who's gonna lane against Five Brewmaster? That's the main thing I'm curious about right now for mouse sports. In theory, they can dual lane mid Wisp plus one, but none of these Wisp plus ones are that strong. Like, Sven plus Wisp is okay. The good troll! What all the right. heck? All right. All right. Here we go. We're Here paying we attention go. now. We're into it. Yeah, everyone's awake. It. Who was... Pre someone was preaching the, the prowess of troll tonight. Was it you? I don't think it was me. Roland? Roland. Was it Roland? Roland He's, Sama. He, he wanted the to The Argod. The Argod was preaching the, 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 the power of troll.
I we have not seen this in a while. I think they they changed the whirling axes last time I checked, which kind of nerfed him to a certain extent. He's still pretty solid, honestly. They buffed it last patch, I believe. I think it was increasing the cast burn, or rather decreasing it, making it a bit better. I forget the change in general, but I feel like that's solid. Not only do you have... I feel like Troll Warrior plus Sven is also very underrated, because he's going to start hitting very fast. Not only with Overcharge, but with the ultimate from Troll Warrior as well. And, and uh, man, it's, that, it's that not the Troll. Trends. It's the Sven who's going to be hitting like a yeah, Troll. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's what I mean, yeah. Yeah, he's got the Overcharge, the War Cry. Yes. So he's moving max move speed with insane attack speed. This is literally the unkillable Godzilla Sven. <laughs> He's got Shallow Grave backing him up, Nyx Assassin, who's a good counter-initiator, and yeah, all the attack speed, the move speed. If Sven doesn't carry, then it's because he doesn't get any items. If he gets... A Sven with normal farm this game will be effectively as good as an anti-mage with a full item advantage because of all these back these heroes backing him up. Yeah, I mean, if he's scary, like, at level 1 with all these abilities, well, maybe not level 1, but maybe that's... Maybe not seven. level... Maybe not level 1. He needs one. a few more levels well, than level yeah, 1. Yeah, but, but that was a little bit, but... Like, around, like, the 10, 15-minute mark, if he's got, say, just, I don't know, drums, treads, and Wisp has level 6, Troll has his ult, he's very scary. The yeah, so we are so I do want to. I just want to go over the troll recent changes for because we haven't seen troll in like I don't know six eight months. Rubik tried to cliff uh, the shadow priest, but does fail in that. Uh, most recent change: rolling axes now is zero cast point, so it's instant cast. You cast it, the, the axes start spinning out immediately um, as soon as you hit the hotkey. Mm -hmm. uh, fervor max attacks rescaled to four at all levels from two three four five. And the attack speed is worse at level 1, but better at level 4. That's kind of irrelevant if the Sven's the, the main damage dealer. So, mm, I, I don't think the troll changes are too significant for this game. Yeah. It's more going to be about the heroes around the Sven besides the troll. Yeah. I, going I, down Trixie bottom lane. This could be our first blood. Storm Hammer, the poison touch, the right place going as well. Trixie, he's under his tower, but that's going to be it. It's that easy. That's just a quick kill. Piecat already on the board. 1-0 coming up from Mouse Sports. The Sven off to a nice start, but obviously the Poison Touch and the Storm Hammer setting that up. So, Trixie, I guess he's not safe there down in that bottom lane. At least not yet. Yeah, he's level 1. So he doesn't have Surge yet. He was trying to get it, but they, they have a lane ward, and they're not they're not going to allow Trixie to easily get... It's where, like, maybe you just have to go jungle, honestly. They, they obviously have vision of you, and... He has a TP scroll, so he's ready to either abandon the lane or just go jungle if he needs to. Whereas, well, it's also Dire Sight off lane. MSS already hits level 2 as the Nyx Assassin, and can Fnatic punish him? No Tails on the smoke. He's trying to move in, and uh, it looks like he'll get the kill here. Yeah, they don't have a, a lockdown uh, creep from No Tail, but they don't really need one. They could just tell Kinesis they can use that um, avalanche. And they're gonna go for that telekinesis first. There's the avalanche. MSS getting caught. He's so far up right now. Nice and pale, but that was I don't... A beautiful and pale. He I caught the creep and two out. heroes. Can he actually get out? Tangos keeps on moving. Needs to run to the right. He'll salve up as well. MSS! What a god! How he's, did he do it? He's just gonna There's make it a fourth here coming in. No, Trixie's not gonna bother. He's He can't do much That was it. filthy! And he's, he's gonna get a haste room too, or at least guard it for that mid lane. And he Lord. denies the brewmaster the haste oh room mid. God. No, honey's got a bottle crow. Or bottle courier, because it's not... He's even trying to gank the courier. Oh my gosh, MSS, There's please. There's no courier. MSS, Chill please. out, dude. You already did your job. You can you can just go base and heal up. It's okay, MSS. It's fine. Man, what a play. That was impressive. I thought for sure he was going to die. I thought that thunderclap and the right clicks would have been enough damage, but he eats through the tree. He solves up. Wow. If he, if he only gets two heroes or only gets the creep and one, he dies. But yes. he gets all three and then eats the, eats the tree and runs the right way. If he tries to run down the lane... He gets caught, he takes a clap, and he dies. But he ran to the right, and he's, and he's already got the boots, and that made the difference. I felt like MSS in the mid lane role didn't do too well when he played for teams like AG and other areas. But, well, he's been really solid in the off lane for Team Dog and for what is now Mouse Sports. Fata taking a bit of damage with that Thunder Clap in the mid lane. Looks like he will Bottle Crow real quick, and that's fine. Uh, the nice Shagbark Courier there. No Tail wrapping around. Again, this time he has Genki Creeps. He's got a Dark Troll Summoner, and he's got that Centaur Conqueror, but, but MSS a, knows better this time around. There's a Radiant... Did you see which way he went? Did he come from this direction? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Yeah, the Radiant Ward here is more just a Rune Ward, so... Uh, they didn't actually see him, but... If, if you just kill the Nyx, it's not really that big of a play. It's more like if you can take the tower at the Ench, but... 
Mm, can they actually take a tower? It's a tiny Rubik. It's not really a good pushing trailing. No. So I think they'd be better off going for the troll, if anything. So, mainly because Fnatic really needs the blink on Hani. That is their key mid-game item. Uh, he's their initiator. Who else goes in first? Rubik lift? It's just not a good initiation. No. I, I, I think so. Meanwhile, it's going to be Telkinesis in that top lane. MSS, Spike, Care Pace. I mean, he's fine. There's going to be a TP rotation. They want to get a kill maybe here on Arrow. Taking a lot of right-click. The Poison Touch going as well. No, if it's just that Dazzle, they can't get anything else done. Arrow will back away. Meanwhile, mid lane. Fada getting the clap. He's getting the smack from Hani. Oh, uh, I don't think he can... He can't get the kill, but getting close, though. Yeah. I mean, Hani is actually doing pretty well here. 20 last hits against the Troll Warlord. It's not a big surprise. He's... He's got right clicks, obviously. He can tra he can change to that range form. He can get up close if he wants to use the melee and get a bit of extra damage and get some more last hits that way. But then he obviously has to take that thunderclap. So I feel like Hani's doing fine. If you look right now, you see Fats is sitting at level 5. Hani should be right around that area. Level 6 is very close for both of these heroes. For Battle Trance, it's going to be nice coming out for Mouse Sports, free other side. Well, I mean, Primal Split's going to be really solid. He could start ganking, he could rotate out of that mid lane. Trixie's sitting at level 4, so he's not doing that bad. He got ganked early on. He couldn't stay for the longest time, but uh, now he is level 4. He's running away from the spirits from the IO. He's going to Iron Shell this creep camp and just try to get a bit of CS from there. He's done a pretty nice job of catching up. Mm -hmm. And the main thing is that TP that Poss had to make top. Fnatic forced him to TP. That makes a lot of space for Trixie. Hits level 4. He was already... He already gotten some levels before then, but... Mm -hmm. This really makes the lane a lot easier for him, and should be He's fine here. Encroach. They don't have any proper stuns, but they get the body blocks off, and Trixie hesitates a bit, backs off, and I, he's dead now. Now, on the other and side they, of things, MSS got brought down in that top lane, so an offlaner for an offlaner. That's good for Fnatic, because, well, they were losing the, the offlaner trade before that, so. I like that for Fnatic overall, but they're not getting a tower, which is the nice thing for Mouse. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, they're they're not taking it yet. At some point, they might be able to when maybe there's a couple more rotations or the brewmaster comes up and he wants to fight. If he wants to go for a you know, kill or two, he could dive behind the tower with the brewmaster and maybe even with his blink dagger. But at the same time, also, Fnatic can roam no tail elsewhere. I mean, he's got he's got a chance to get out of here, but they're going to use the ultimate coming out from the brewmaster. They want this kill. The rock's going to go. The cyclone, not yet. Still doing damage. The TP rotation in. Now, there's the battle trance trying to bring down the pot, the fire panda here. There's the willing to get axes as well. MSS now looking for an impale. Ult's about to end. They could easily get this kill. He anticipates the brewmaster ult and an MSS delivers again. Wow. He stunned before the ult even ended. That Man. was... He knew it was this going guy. away. The timing, that was perfect. Jeez. Oh. It's the second huge impale this game for him. Just you know, I, I, I remember Cassie MSS when he was first picked up by AG, and I it just... He played so... Well, even before that, he played so well for Liquid standing in for them. Yes. Uh, that was where, like, he attracted some international attention, or just general public attention. Had been a known player, as I'm sure you probably cast him a few times in mm -hmm. NEL and uh, IXDL before that, but... Well, mid lane, hold that thought. Pat will come in, nice carapace by MSS, but is there follow-up? Uh, I think he's in trouble here. They're going to overcharge, and I don't Maybe know if he's going to dive this, but Misery might get caught out. He will be the martyr for MSS's life, but there's the Stormbolt coming through. I don't know if he's got damage. No Tail's no, also no low, mana for but, Yeah, he's got to get back now. Pycat with no mana, can't really do much. There's the Thunderclap. Ani getting aggressive with the Haste Rune, or the Surge, rather. Now the backstab from the Troll, looking for Fly. He gets the bash. He gets the kill. But, uh, yeah, the story of MSS. Basically, he stood in for Liquid, like, a, I guess it was a year ago, Ma, is that yes, right? Yes, yes. And he made insane plays. He played Rubik three or four games and basically stole everything. Eclipse, Black Hole, I don't remember exactly which spells it was, but it was these kinds of spells. Like, whenever yeah. they needed it, he was stealing it. And then he later was added to EG. He didn't really have a... That EG did not do well. A lot of talented players, but just didn't have much team synergy, and... It's just great to see him finally finding a, a comfortable position. Yeah, and he's going to go for a kill top here on Arrow. Looking for a Vendetta. Maybe going to find it here. Arrow's going to back off. Vendetta and Pale, he wants this kill. They might even dive this tower. Arrow getting low. This Storm Hammer is going to come through. And the right click from Pycat. Just an easy kill. And, and to touch on your point as well, yeah, MSS, he's been around for a while too. Like you said, he's been in those in-houses. Somebody I've known for a while. And I, I'm really happy that he is getting these chances here with... Well, now Mouse Sports. It's his second sponsored team, of course, after that EG sponsorship. But uh, he's playing well right now in this game specifically. So. Oh, Fada's. Oh, this is a dead era. 
He needs a plus one. Oh, okay, fly. Looks like I said era. Fly. Flies. Looks like he's going to back off. Oh, not. I jinxed him. Now Fly's in trouble. Yeah, now, oh, he's, now he's pretty dead. The spirits, though. That damage. Now, there's going to be the ensnare no tail. I don't think he wanted any part of this. But then again, he really wants to kill Misery. He could tether towards Fata here in just one second and will do so. And now they're going to put some pressure here on this tower. I don't know if they can really do anything other than just at least hit it a couple times. Misery taking tower shots is going to try to TP away. The right click to the Whirling Death going to go through. The Whirling Axe is, excuse me, getting my spells confused. But now everyone's backing off. Mouse have a 62 score. It's not quite as big as the one we saw in the previous game, but it still feels pretty impressive for Mouse right now. So one thing worth mentioning about Sven is uh, the cooldown reduction, which came on his ultimate, uh, I think it was a patch or two ago, where you can have it when it's maxed up half of the time. Seven second duration, 14 second cooldown at level four. Yeah. That's pretty, pretty freaking huge. If you look at the numbers on the spell, plus 16 armor for your team, that is ridiculous damage reduction. 16 armor, that's what, a team assault cross, and then everyone has like a plate mail on top of it. Something along those lines. I mean, it is just absurd. It's solid, and and I, I'm surprised we haven't seen more spin, or at least more teams at least just try spin out. Mouse sports are finally doing it now, but we have he to He needs see help, though. He's a melee, like, if you want to run him as a carry, he's a melee, which I think is the only viable way to run him, but he's a carry hero that has, yeah, he's got uh, some mobility with Warcry, but no real chasing potential. His burst damage is pretty underwhelming. Here comes the fight mid. Oh, nice impale. MSS getting it on too. That's that's easier than the ones he's hit thus far. But now Fata with the Gita rune. There's going to be the primal split. Fata getting caught out. The rock going to go. The whirling death as well. Fata getting low. Now pretty much back to full. The relocate out coming from Misery to save he, himself he now. He just did it to the tower. Nicely played. They can maybe turn this around. Out comes the wall. But is it enough? No. MSS, he will fall down. Looks like the toss avalanche came through. No, time wasn't even there. It was just the center conquer going in as well. No tail getting caught up. He's going to get tossed avalanche. That's Fata going down. Getting low. He's not dead yet, though. Hani's chasing after him. I don't believe he's got a blink dagger yet, but the surge forward, that might be enough for Era to grab this kill. Fata can turn around. He still has the DD rune. There's the whirling death. That'll help a bit. He can try to slow him down with the other whirling axes, but it looks like he won't. Reinforcements have arrived. There's your stun. Give him the right clicks. No, he gets tossed back to the wisp. Nicely played. That's a great defensive toss. And it might turn the fight. Then comes the Nixon Pale. Pycat cleans up one. Now on the run. Hani getting chased out as well. And Fly manages to steal a war cry and tries to retreat with this. The Wisp rejoins the fight. And oh, they haven't gotten the kill just yet. Poison touch on Fly. He zaps down the Wisp. Fly with the big plays. Does get stunned though by MSS. Tries to rain him down with the right clicks. And indeed he will. The heal follows that up. Hani, it's a bloodbath mid. Everybody melting. In the end, three fall for the Radiant, four for the Dire, and oh, a slight win for Fnatic, or for Mouse, I suppose, Mod, but basically, everybody dies. That, that was, that was a lot of, that was a lot of, uh, action, and, and that's a bit hey, of a Roland, mod, no, but, uh... this is the part where you hit the Team Fight Recap button. We can look for at... For all the, all the viewers out there who are confused. We can number crunch it and see who came out on top there, and what abilities, spells, Roland was literally you. snoozing in the producer chair. Typical. It's been a long night for everybody. Hey, some of us got to sleep, man. <laughs> the, the, those of us uh, who got to sleep does not include me or you. No. no. But it does include Roland, so press the buttons. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But uh, yeah, it's a, it's a pretty even game so far, but I think the main concern for Fnatic is just fighting when Panda ult is down. If Panda ult's down, Mouse, pretty low cooldown lineup, can go for Vendetta ganks, you relocate on top of that. Uh, basically, Mouse wanted to fight around the Panda ult. They had Panda ult in that fight, and it turned out fairly well for Fnatic. But if it's down, or if Panda's not able to join the fight at the right time, then it's a lot of easy kills, and they'll try to find one bottom now. Yeah, there's the strong hammer going through. Trixie getting caught out. They have God Strength. He's going to pop the right click. One, two, and the Impale. TP, TP reaction coming in for Fnatic. It's massive, massive TP rotations. Nice grave, though, for Misery to stay alive. Pass making that play. Spell was stolen. Probably was Tether. Not sure if that's going to be super helpful. It gives no, them that nice no move speed. No blink on Hani. This is a tough dive. Oh, God. The Storm Hammer. He has Primal Split. He might have to use it. The Impale's going to go through. Nice. Chain stuns. That's exactly what they needed now. Mouse, they're not done yet. They're looking for Fly. They tether away. No tail on Fly. Very squishy. And really, they can't do much. So they'll have to get out of there. Meanwhile, mid lane. Fada going hard with the ultimate. And we'll just start pressuring towers. This is like how we used to see Troll play oh, yeah. back when he's picked a six, eight months ago. Oh, he does get Avalanche. He'll get tossed straight up. There was no one to toss him back to, it looks like. And now the wall gets deployed. Reinforcements have arrived. 
Fada dropping low, still alive, Misery. Trying to keep him in healthy condition. They tether up for just a second. Nope, tether. Now available. Now he'll get dunked by the tiny. Easily slammed down by Era. Now the retreat. So one for one, a wisp for a Dark Seer. And looking for more, not gonna find it. And that's the relocate gang coming into effect there, and Fnatic know it all too well. They've used it against so many unsuspecting teams, but Mouse Sports, they they make an easy play, they get in there. The wall was up and it actually did a decent amount of damage. They got the wisp, that's great, but they they split up the fight, and that means that Darkseer went down to Pycat. So everyone moving all over the place. Pycat kind of picks off that lone Darkseer. The gold lead, not as big as one might expect. Still pretty solid for Mouse Sports at about 2,000 right now. And experience-wise, almost 3,000. So they're off to a good start. Like you talked about, you exactly you hit the nail on the head. I mean, Sven going for a BKB kind of hamstrings him. So he, he can't go for the Mask of Madness. He can't go for that armlet just yet. But with Battle Trance, I don't know if that matters. With God Strength as well, he does a lot of damage. It's, I'm, generally, it's, it's never like a bad, well, it's very rarely a bad BKB game, but this is a really good one. You got lifted, can't get lifted anymore. Yeah, they can steal Warcry, whatever. Panda, completely useless against BKB, aside from just trying to focus your teammates, and Darkseer is not going to do much there either, so. I think it's a, basically, Mouseport's game plan seems to be get BKB on Sven, and just go fight. They have some other late game with the troll, but the key hero is the Sven. The whole lineup is built around Sven, and it's just, do they find the fights? If they do, if if they find a good fight, if they get like a 2-3 hero impale into a Sven Stormbolt, Fnatic are going to get crushed. If Fnatic, on the other hand, can kite, can bait up the BKB, can isolate the backline supports, that's how they'll win. So, Mouse Sports looking for the head-on confrontation. Raw numbers, they will win. Fnatic just looking to basically play Robin Hood and just kind of kite around them and, and, you know, hide in the trees. And I feel like the only time Fnatic would fight head-on is if they had all their abilities up, including Primal Split. Like, that's the most important ability for them. And even that is, like, you could still kite, you could still use that to kite heroes around and go for kills in other various ways. So Primal Split for Hani is probably the most important ability is, as it is right now, but that could change very quickly. Wall of Replica could be Top huge. lane, we're going to have a smoke gank. Flying. Oh, that's a, Surged that's in. Set, Fata. Fata, Telekinesis, Relocate Gank. If it's available but no one's there, they're not ready for it. <laughs> toss Avalanche, man. <laughs> he didn't even get dropped by the, the toss before he was dead. Yeah, he, he just kind of flew up in the air and didn't come down. So, unfortunately, he goes down. Toss is going to throw up the Medallion. He throws up the Weave. They toss in the Wildwing Ripper. That's not very nice. Meanwhile, mid lane, they want to go in on the Panda, but Hani, nice move in top. Hani should want should stick with his team when he's got ultimate, and indeed he will. Has the Invis rune, heading behind the tower. Mouse ports, oh no boy. detection. Well, actually, sorry, they have a Sentry Ward on Poss, and Poss is top, but will he drop it? They did not see this rune getting picked up. I feel like that's a pretty decent trade coming out, other than obviously the troll going down. A one for one tower, and a lot of the heroes are top, so they're kind of just staying together here. But now, uh -oh. Hani's thinking about going in with that Invis rune. He's ready to go. They've also used the Sven ult here. If they if they stick around and Sven ult ends, they are not going to take the fight. Yeah, they have to, they would have to back off. The Vendetta even will scout things out, but they won't be fighting with Sven ult, at least for a bit, until it's off cooldown. Uh, the Troll Warlord is going to use his ultimate just to farm some Ancient stacks real quick. And what does this Tiny have exactly? I want to see what the item progression is for Fnatic's Tiny right now. But, no, oh, well, too late. There's actually going to be a gank here beforehand, so maybe Noctel going to get caught out. No, the Impale. No, looks like the Vendetta went down and the Impale did not go. Now they're going to have to back away. Ha they blink away. Hani there. He was ready to go, but unfortunately they couldn't grab him, so. Yeah, the Tiny is pretty decently farmed, actually. Treads, drums online is 2,200 gold. Troll mm -hmm. ultimate does get dropped. Just just farming agents. Nothing, yeah. nothing being missed here, but... Honestly, considering the way the game's developed, I, I think Fnatic are very happy. They're on the dire side, they have Dyer's not given up the tier 1 attack. bottom, the Tiny's been farming well, Panda's got his core items, the Blink, and, and basically Bottle Boots. He's happy. So, Fnatic are in their comfort zone at this point, and Mouse Sports mm -hmm. still waiting to see the Sven truly come to Oh boy. Big Stormhammer, the BKB, Pycat, he pops that God Strength. He wants to go to town here, but he can't quite get an opening. There's no Why? Wisp, but now he's BKB. The Wisp is just being cycloned by the Panda on the backside. He can't join the fight. Yeah, they'll get the Rubik, but they've used everything for this, and now, well, they're on the run.
Misery getting kind of low pass as well. Now the tether away coming in. Up in the air with the Cyclone. Hani getting caught out. Fata trying to bash him down here. Might go for it. Impetus damage to the backside coming through. Now Pike at Stormhammer. But there's the wall of replica. Era. There's a big impale from MSS. That might change the course of the fight. Misery tethering on to Fata. The whirling axe is going through. No tail getting bashed up. He is done. It's a three for one trade. Yes, they lost Pie Cat, but Fata is cleaning up. Forward. Oh, the blank, the immediate reaction from Hani will get him out of there alive. What about Trixie? He's got no mana to TP. The Soul Ring on cooldown. The Impale from MSS. He gets it again. This guy is the super standard and now playing for Mouse Sports. He's been absolutely out of his mind. Well, the super standard playing for Team Standard and, and doing work. Yes. Absolutely. Gosh, the, those impales. Ah, oh, man, that three or four minute impale where that wall went down, so nice. And you could see that team fight recap coming up. The net worth change is huge. The experience change. Yeah, they lost the BKB. Yeah, they used the God Strength. But that's it. I mean, the, the one BKB charge is probably worth it there. Even if you got kited down bottom, the more action happening. Big impale fly getting caught out. The Fade Bolt, the Shadow Wave as well. Now Misery's making it away. No tail. No. I mean, for the kill here, but he, oh, he actually ends up going down to the Storm Bolt. It looks like the Brewmaster dropping... No, sorry, that was mid lane. That was a separate fight. He popped his BKB and his ultimate, got the kill, and oh, they'll push the tower now. Tiny trying to defend. Doesn't have Avalanche, doesn't have Toss, but I think Mouse should be content with this and, and just back off. And then indeed they will. All yeah, right, well. so I'm not sure how Panda died. Sven sh probably shouldn't be, able to, shouldn't be able to kill him from full HP. But maybe, maybe it was a slightly low HP. I was watching the nine heroes bottom. So yeah, that, that bottom, was so. where the action was. And, I... and now Poss is in trouble bottom lane. He gets dunked. And down he goes. Yeah, Arrow grabbing that kill. And it looks like Trixie with a Dark Sphere. Iron Shield will get it. Vacuum back. MSS. MSS Sama. Not like this. The lone hope for North America in this match. Well, nice relocate out. Well, can they fight this is the question. He's relocated just to the tier two, but Mott, nobody's coming. Oh, maybe they can tether him back. Uh, oh, they're going to tether back to a Vendetta Nyx? Oh, is this the really the best idea? Misery is getting caught out right now. He, he's got to go down. The overcharge, not really helping there. And now MSS. He'll make his way out of there. I guess they didn't lose MSS. It would have been the same thing had it just been Misery going back. So it's not really that big of a deal. I thought they were going to get some TPs down in that bottom lane and try to fight something. But it didn't happen. So, okay. That's fair, I guess. It seemed like he wanted to tether to the the Knicks like the split second that the relocate returned, so that he could basically just zip right back to him. Yeah, but yeah, yeah. He did it like a, I don't know a second earlier, so and just just died basically. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Fata, Fata will get the tower top. The primal split's gonna go. Fata's gonna just pop the hatred. And he's like, I, I am out. I am out of here, guys. I, I'm not. I'm not gonna deal with this. So. Oh, he's got a cyclone though. Well, he will catch up to him, but. Here comes MSS, MSS is coming in. Oh, this guy's made plays before. Fata getting body blocked in right now. The stun's going to go through. MSS the Impale. That's not going to affect the units. The vacuum going in. Now the Cyclone. The impetus damage. Fata getting low. The Shallow Grave. It's on time. Poss throws up the weave. No tail. No, he's going to get Vendetta potentially. Man, he's thinking about it. He's been dusted though. Now Trixie looking to go. The Spike Carapace. Vendetta. Looks like it was still on the Impale. Nicely done again. The Sven is not here. He's already TP'd bottom. He's pushing out the bottom lane. Pycat does not have a TP. So Mouse Sports need to just back the hell off and, and not fight. And great defensive play by the supports. They they keep, do keep the team alive, and, and they were not fighting that. So good good work. Uh, strength, Telekinesis, though, Pycat. He's going to have to pop the BKB. He wants that tower. Does he want air as well? Yes, the Storm Hammer. One, what? two, three. He slap chops him down. He's done. Now he's looking for Fly to relocate it, and they want more. Fly gets impaled. Pycat with the double kill. Damn, this guy does some work. No tail. Getting body blocked a bit. Now getting chased down. No mana for a Storm Hammer, but it doesn't matter. Io will get the kill with the right clicks. Three dead immediately. How do you do that as a Sven? Pycat, what are you doing, man? Fnatic is getting chunked. Yeah, they really are. Down tw 21 to 11 in terms of kills. Gold lead is about 7,500. Experience lead around 10,000. And they're just they're in the, on the, the defensive position. Like, they picked this tiny, but Mouse Sports can kite and just stun the crap out of him. This is Wisp is on the other team, man. So far, the Tiny's actually played really well, Era, all things considered, but he just he is he relies on his team. And the team is just not as good at setting up kills for him as a Wisp is. Panda, when the ult's up, maybe can find some kills, but for the most part we see Mouse just 
either burst the panda down before the fight starts or just use things like relocate, shallow grave, yeah. impale yeah. carapace to just wait out the ult and then win the fight. Yeah, you're, I think you're right. I mean, they, just, they, have, they have so much potential to just, I guess, wait these team fights out. Just make sure they stay alive. Just have longevity, essentially. So, Fnatic, they can't find a way to burst any of these heroes down. And you talked about Warcry and, like, the right-click damage that's coming out from Fnatic. It's very little. I mean, Sven's pretty tanky. When you have Warcry, it makes it even more difficult coming out. The armor is there. They don't really have the magic damage to do work. I mean, there's been a couple walls, there's been a few vacuums, but they've been pretty negligible. I feel like this Darkseer should have more of an impact, but he really doesn't. So, now it comes down to Fnatic getting back into this game somehow. Whether that's through an Aghanim Scepter for Tiny, or for Brewmaster uh -oh. and other Aghanims as well, but... I'm not sure who this is bad for, because Mouse just smoked, and I thought they were going to run off the ramp, but... Oh, this, this could be bad attack. for Fnatic. They they're in a the good position route. right now. They'll take the safe route. They're like, all right, let's. We're, we're not gonna go right up the high ground. It's that's not a good idea. Let's just. We're gonna go right straight on, head on here and look for a fight. The we'll key then. thing for Fnatic is just actually blowing somebody up right away. Let's see if they can do it. Okay, with the split coming out. I haven't caught anybody yet. No, they've got Pie Cat now getting low. And they're gonna get mech up as well. Now the panda getting cleaved down. Is that Earth Panda gonna fall? Can they chase him down and get him before his ultimate is over? Yeah, he's useless there. And the storm hammer it was done. It was stolen rather, but now they're turning around the to toss avalanche. Now that Aghanim Scepter is up for error. He's doing work. Poss is gonna shallow grave and get out alive. MSS Honey bought back as well. The spike carapace, mouse sports. They got caught in a bad position. Tiny doing work. The impale. The toss board from No Tail. MSS <laughs> might fall here. Toss no into a chat. The play is fanatic with a big turnaround. Four heroes dead and straight to the Roche pit. Oh my goodness. That's like that's that's a, that's huge. That's exactly what they needed. Era. He just got that Aghanim scepter, I think. And then that toss avalanche was disgusting. So all of a sudden now, fanatic are okay. They have kind of stopped the bleeding and they'll work towards getting a Roshan and Aegis. And that's a big pickup for them. So that was something also that maybe Mouse could have done a, a, a couple of times, but couldn't really get it done. So they decided to go for more kills or even go for towers. It's still, I think, Fnatic down a bit. I'm not sure where they stand in the net, or the gold chart right now, but it, it's... It, I don't know, it's interesting. They Are they really trying to team. contest this? Pox is just strutting up! Whoa, yeah, they have relocated. The team is not here yet. Well, in they go. Can they steal the Roche? I can't BKB. Want to. He has BKB. If they can steal the Aegis and not feed three kills, this is pretty good. But they might get feed it. Three I kills. think they're gonna get it. Oh no! He got blown up with God's strength. Fly getting chased down. Now there's the whirling axes. The BKB is about to go off. Stormhammer just at the right time for Fly. Pycat. He's getting tossed up. He's getting low. Telekinesis. That's the Aegis, but that's it. Now Fox is still chasing. No more whirling axes. Trixie now up on the high ground. Why are you still here? Just leave the blink, the impale, the storm hammer. It's on to two. Arrow wants to get some of these kills, but it's not going to happen. Piecat pops the war cry. Now the battle trance. Long range storm hammer. It's not ready for another two seconds, but it's about to go here. Can he get that in range? Yes. Era maybe in trouble. Will he fall to this? That stun not long enough. Maybe are they going to die for this? The whirling axes, the storm hammer. Piecat has dove too far potentially. No. They get four. Are they going to get five? I don't know if they really should go for a fly here, but Era they want to. Getting, fly getting dove. They're gonna lose both. It's a full five man wipe. Excellent. Excellent. And fanatic. Oh man. I thought they were gonna be able to jump mouse before the Roche fell, but just nice work by mouse. Pop the BKB, take the Roche, take the Aegis, and Pycat hits too hard. He's too big. That is one tank. When he if he gets BKB off, Fnatic just need to avoid the fight. Wait out the BKB, which is not getting pretty low. It's a five second BKB. Fnatic can play around it, but if they get caught and they give up two, three kills while BKB is online, they're gonna lose. Yeah, I mean, they've done a really nice job after the BKB is done. You saw that Stormhammer coming out from, I, I believe it was Poss in the Rubik, and uh, he did work with it, but unfortunately, you know, it, Pycat had that age, so it didn't matter. They threw up the wall on the high ground. Fnatic stayed way too long, and they lost five heroes because of it, so... A he's, tier 3 tower is gone because of it. He's practically a Daedalus mod. This is a 27 minute Daedalus BKB level 17 Sven. No Midas, no greed, just pure, pure farm. Pure damage, pure manliness. He's 9, 3, and 7. And it's not really just the Sven. Like, again, going back to Mouse's draft, their entire draft is built around the Sven. Yes. They pick Troll so he's more attack speed. They go Dazzle so they can. He's almost died a few fights. He gets healed, he gets graved. He pops Warcry, Dazzle pops his ultimate. 
Wisp has relocated him out a few times. Tether, overcharge. Like, this is, again, Godzilla Sven. It's not just a Sven on his own. Fnatic will look for the gank here. They're going to smoke up mid and, and head for the backstab. There's a Radiant Observer Ward here. This could be very bad for Fnatic if they get caught, like, walking up the hill. But doesn't look like it's going to happen. You want to kill the Wisp, ideally. Maybe the Dazzle. Let's see what they get. Oh, MSS is going to scout this out. Telekinesis, Spike, Carapace, the Toss. The Avalanche going to go through four staff backwards. Fata go to end Stormhammer. That nuke, though. Now up in the air. He didn't get that BKB off Fata. He's going to try to fight. He's got to kite this around, though. Now still taking that damage. They bought back the Rubik. He's back in the fight. Pycat, his BKB yet to be used. There it goes. The Krag X here, I think, stopping him in his track, but no tail getting blown up. Hani getting low as well. The right clicks. Pycat about to fall. Still alive. The Shadow Wave. The Grave. The Impale coming out from MSS. Everybody buying back for Fnatic. Pycat about to go down. He's still alive. The Shadow Wave. Hani can't get the right click. The Storm Hammer. What is what? happening? Kill him. Just kill, kill him. him. Somebody Just kill, kill him. Just kill the Pycat already. Oh, I think he's, he's pretty he's He's probably dead, dead this time. Spend your gold. You know, oh, no, he's yeah, getting he's grave, got again. grave again. What? Grave is cooled down? What a fight. He's not done yet. Is there any buyback available? Not using it just yet. Pycat gets done. Oh, no. Get Live by the storm hammer. Die by the storm hammer. Yeah. And in the end, they lose four. And they buy back on the Wisp. So, Fnatic. Well, they got the jump there. F key thing was, as you pointed out, Sven popped God Strength and then got Cyclone. Did not get off BKB. If he gets off BKB, Fnatic probably just back off or lose the fight but great panda use uh brewmaster ultimate usage and yeah just a bit slow on the spend bkb yeah and so i mean also i mean the thing is too fanatic had two buybacks of their own but for the most part that really wasn't that big of an issue and now they're looking to maybe try to go for this tier two tower and they're getting into it tiny which is going for what seems to be a bkb next honey his item choice, well, he is 2,700 gold in the bank, and he could go for that Aghanim Scepter, he can go for an Assault Curious, which is probably less likely. We've seen, I think for the most part, it's been like, you go for a Blink into an Ags into a Scythe, but there's a lot of deviations for a lot of different item builds, so uh, it really comes down to what Hani wants here. We're 30 minutes in, which is about the time that Fnatic lost that last game, and it was getting close, but they're not done yet. So, they're, if we look at the gold graph real quick, if you look at what Fnatic have right now, it's a situation where... Gold graph. Gold graph. Conrad. I saw you checking your phone, man. I'm going to call you out. Okay. All right. All right. There's the 12K gold lead. I'm sorry, Conrad. Actually, I'm not sorry. You deserve that flame. And uh, that's pretty solid still for Mouse. It's still a long road to climb. Obviously, the gold graph is not as important as people might think that it is, but it still shows you how much of a lead that Mouse has in, term, in terms of their items. So, um, Fnatic are doing okay. They're staying alive, which I think is the most important thing. Uh oh. They, well, they just smoked, and it looks like they were just out of range of the Dire Observer Ward mid. It's a pretty deep ward, to be honest, considering that Fnatic's been fighting on their own side of the map. Right. Well, can they find the opening here? They're going to wrap around towards bottom lane. Fnatic playing this one safe. Looking at the Dire Vision, they have the one Observer Ward man, and otherwise they see nothing, so not going to be too aggressive here. I feel like Fnatic, they just, they knew that either with the Observer Ward or the game that's coming out, they, they understand that everyone's off the map right now. They probably should be farming mid, which is getting pressured here, and I think that Maus know this. They're like, okay, that tier one tower is taking damage. They're, we need someone to go back and defend. Pycat's going to farm bottom now. Uh, but it looks like we're gearing up for a fight. It seems like Mouse don't really care about that tier 1 tower and care more about pushing in. That Daedalus is doing work. He's got 2.3k gold in the bank now. I almost feel like Pycat might benefit from a Blink Dagger. And yes, he's going to pick it up right there. Pycat goes for the Blink Dagger. He's going to try to get some more, I guess, mobility here. Look for better initiations and go from there instead of getting kited around. They can insta-kill anyone that he catches. Like, it, it maybe not Panda if he gets lucky with Evasion. But outside of that, you Blink. You BKB, pop the gut strain, and that's... Even the Tiny is probably dead. The key for Fnatic is, just, well, not getting caught. <laughs> like, you, sometimes you can grave, defensive disruption, depending on your lineup, but they have... Their only counter-initiate is Dark Seer Vacuum Wall. Outside of that, and that's not going to help if Sven just pops BKB right away. So, they just have to play this one careful. And there's going to be that BKB up for error. That's, I think, a pretty important item, but it doesn't really help up against... Pycat. I mean, the thing is, though, he won't get storm hammered. So if it's a one-on-one -on -one man fight, Pycat with God Strength is still going to have the edge. However, that's not going to happen most of the time. Usually there'll be tosses and avalanche. We talk about the BKB duration coming out with Pycat right now. It's pretty low. Last time I checked, it was like four or five seconds. I mean, if it's four seconds, it's the lowest duration it could possibly be for Pycat. It, it so. was five last fight, and indeed it is four now. He is 
He's very reliant. Oh, at the end of the day, like, you get off the BKB, you get one good crit with God Strain, that's enough. Yes. But it depends if it hits one hero, three, four, or five. Like, just a one hero crit, it's got to be an important target. Trixie's very important. Era's pretty important. I'd say Fly on the Rubik, not so important. No Tail on the Ghost Scepter Enchantress, pretty much just there as a distraction and a mm -hmm. utility hero, but... Yeah, you, Darkseer, the ideal target. Hani, quite... Uh, I'd say the secondary one. If he gets either of those, he's in good shape. But. The question that I have is, right now, if this game goes late enough, I mean, if you look at a Sven, you look at the Troll Warlord, and you look at the heroes around him, they have the Io to relocate in, but also, Fnatic have that semi-carry, and the Enchantress, they've got Wall, they've got Tiny, they've got Brewmaster. I think Fnatic maybe take this late, but I'm not sure. What do you think? Mm, can they take it late? Yeah, they have Darkseer. Yeah. You can... He's, it's not the best matchup for Dark Sphere. They don't. I'm looking at Mouse right now. What are their ROs? They have a Vlad's a Misery. That's pretty much it. So it's still just difficult to go high ground though. And the thing is that Mouse is, I'd say, four melee heroes. You've Wisp, technically range. Troll, technically can be range. But these heroes are going to be running around in melee form in in the fight. And Wisp is basically just there to run next to Sven. So you get caught by vacuum into Avalanche Toss. Out comes the cleave. You're, it's very easy to group up for Tiny to do his damage. Yeah. So, I would say late game, I think it's even. Troll, they're going to have a dual corn mouse, and they have a lot backing it up. The Sven's bigger than expected with Overcharge and the Troll ult, as mentioned. And at the same time, uh, Fnatic have, I'd say, like a pretty strong anti-melee carry lineup. We'll see how it goes. I mean, Roche is actually up here, which is a really important note. Fnatic. Um... They're actually maybe in danger of getting smoked on here as Pycat, he'll lead the charge. He only has that four second BKB duration, so if this fight goes long, Pycat might get blown up. They're gonna run maybe right uphill here and the, look for a couple kills. Yeah, like you said, the key is like getting it right and here they're gonna fight. Oh, oh no, 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 not Please like this don't, come on. They spotted him. This oh. could be bad though. Oh, he jumps in MSS, going forward, Pycat's in the trees. He gets forced out. Now split, clap coming through. Haas, shell grips himself a bit early. Look at that <laughs> damage. My god, that Brewmaster is dead as hell. I've never seen a more dead Brewmaster. Pycat getting tossed up in the air. The cleave is going through. Look at the shadow wave going through. It is a man fight. He's going to cleave down two. It's a triple kill for Pycat. Fly, another grave. This time on Pycat. No tail is done. Ultra kill for the Sven. He's this not guy, done yet. The Rogue Knight, he's manning up. Trixie getting chased down. Stormhammer in four seconds. Blink in six, five. Four, counting it down. Trixie will blink away, and it won't be the Rampage. I know he wanted it, but damn. They actually have relocated here. Technically, they could dive the fountain, but they're going to take the safe play. Roche is online. They can go for the base as well. Racks are exposed. Uh, let's check the buyback status for Fnatic right now. They have zero buyback, Smot. I think this might be game. Sven Alt pulling down in 30 seconds. They're all dead for 20. They'll lose. They do have Glyph, so they'll lose at least one lane of Brax. Yes. Tier 2 is bottom. Actually, Tier 2 is top. So they'll take the mid-racks. Either, I think the safe play is just go Roche, and it looks like that's what they're going to do. Or at least back off. Yeah, that. I mean, that, that's the smart play. Go for the Aegis, and then get Pycat to be even more unkillable, because, oh my god, the freaking plays from that Dazzle. Unreal. Poss playing out of his mind. Playing absolutely outstanding Dota. That was a sick game. Like, two, he used one of himself early in the fight, and then later on, and they had, like, the Shadow Wave to back it off. And Misery, obviously, with the overcharge as well. Like, uh, what do you do? Like, you can't kill Pycat. Even if you have no BKB up on him, it doesn't matter. Fly, what do you... No, 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 no. You might die. God's strength, BKB. You might die. <laughs> That's a mono, ladies and gentlemen, in case you were wondering. That's it right there. Mon <laughs> mono. <laughs> Understatement of the century. Don't leave your base. You might die. <laughs> Get, more. Get more gold than the enemy team. You'll probably win. Mot notes. They're gonna go top. This is trouble. No, oh, Hani gets impaled up. He's got his primal split. Nope. Oh, Stormhammer, he can't get it off. Is there enough damage? Overcharge coming through. He gets it off. He's like at one health, his but it doesn't just matter. Food, though. Like, yeah. His ult is just running to the fountain. He can't fight with his ult. That's how weak this pen is right now. Receptor, I heard on somebody, not sure who. It doesn't really matter. The wall's wasted now. And that was without God Strength, by the way. If Pike had had that, that, that panda is dead way beforehand. Um, even if he gets his ult off, he gets cleaved down and he just dies, so... Mouse are... Oh, 
com in command of this game? Mot notes? Mot notes. Like, what do you do right now? You don't have a panda ult. Even if you do, I don't think you can fight. Darkseer ult's also a cooldown for 70 seconds. No glyph. Well, there you go. Actually, they did have it, but the, this is gonna be a later wreck. No, oh, blink forward. Oh my god. That's a cleave. That's a double kill. That's an appeal on era as well. Three dead. Another set of racks and arguably the game here for Mouse Roland's Force. hitting the lights, I man. Mean, <laughs> this is the Roland lights, and, and Fnatic are going to hit the lights as well. They drop down to the loser's bracket here on the summit. They're not out of it yet. They play Power Rangers. That match will be tomorrow, then the Grand Finals immediately after it. But, man, Mouse just crushed. I called it. I said to Fnatic Mouse direct TI4 invite just got destroyed by Mouse Sports. Not even close in either game. It was it was. It that was, was a 2-0 beatdown. It was a stomp. And that's with a Sven and a Troll Warlord. Like, how long have those heroes been in the meta? You could argue that with the element of surprise for, I guess, uh, Mouse Sports, they were able to come out on top. But, like, that was disgustingly good coming out. I mean, just both games, really impressive coming out for Mouse Sports. I loved both drafts. I loved all of their play. Fnatic needed to get it together. It wasn't... Fnatic didn't even play that bad. It's just, like, the Tiny pick. What does Tiny actually do against this draft? They first pick Wisp. Fnatic, they... Yes, they have a good win rate with Tiny, but right. I just randomly looked at their past six games, and they won one Tiny game where they did not have a Wisp. It's it's not bad. They have won games where they pick over Ogre Magi, Hani goes mid, but they've also lost some of those games too. So, yeah. I don't know. I just think you don't need to force the Tiny pick. If no. the draft isn't right for it, they have other options. This team has won with other picks. Yeah. They've gone for Slark in the past for Era. He can play a Mean Weaver. Lifestealer Bombs, they can go for the Hani Storm. Hani can play more of a carry role, but I feel like they're just too reliant or they feel like they should just go tiny and yeah. they don't need to and at the end of the day mouse boards very versatile they can run anything i think that's the scary thing with mouse is they're they're kind of like dk in the sense that they'll just hey if it feels like a, a strong offlane coddle liking game they'll go offlane coddle like it i mean it feels like they'll they can, do whatever it takes to win it feels like they're also on this hot streak too which is really important going into not only these qualifiers but if they make it to ti then that as well so and especially they're, you know, one series away from the Summit, which is a really big deal. They'll be able to get here to L.A., of course, compete with some of the top teams in the world. We're talking about DK. We're talking about Na'Vi. I mean, these are some solid, solid teams coming out. So I'm looking forward to seeing Mouse Sports in the Grand Finals of the EU uh, qualifiers. But don't count out Fnatic. Like you said, they're playing up against PR, but they have to, I think, get a bit better here in the next couple of weeks for them to really, you know, get close. I said it before TI4 qualifiers started. I don't think any team looks more dominant in their region than Dog, or I guess now Mouse Sports does yeah. in EU. Like, to me, if if they don't finish first in EU, that will be by far the biggest upset of the qualifiers. Yeah. They're just, they're very strong. Most of these players are experienced. They've gone to TI before. Cat Misery, they went to China for some time, and yeah. now they're back in the West, and they're doing work. Obviously, Fnatic, yeah, it's a bad loss for them. They have a chance to bounce back against PR, and the Grand Finals for the Summit is a straight best of five. So you get back into the Grand Finals, you beat PR tomorrow, and you have had to play one series in advance, but hey, anyone can win. Yeah, absolutely. I, I, although I would say Mouse are looking like the favorites right now. I yeah. think that's safe to say. Well. Mott, predictions? Do you, do, you, do you think it's just like... They mouse just seam rolls, or do you give Fnatic a chance to kind of come back here? No, I don't think so. Not, no, I don't think so. I mean, I just think mouse sports are, like you said, they're too dominant in their scene. I think they're too dominant right now in the European region just to go down really nearly like that. And and it shows with the play they had today. I, I'd be very surprised to see anybody else take down mouse sports, honestly, in at, at least the European region. You could argue that if they're playing up against Alliance or like Na'Vi, then maybe... You know, but at the same time, I still feel like Mouse Sports. I love their drafts, like I said before. I I I give them uh, I give them a really good chance in the future here. How many Mott notes do you have ready for for them tomorrow? Um, someone just not giggled enough. In the I, I heard, I heard. There was a, the a distinct giggle serious. from the kitchen. That's a serious topic. The Mott notes are serious. Okay, listen. I don't important. know what that means. I don't know what it means either. I'm, I'm tired. I'm <laughs> You're like protecting your brand, but you don't know what your brand is. I don't. I don't. No, that's What's, that's true. I don't know. Is a want note bad? Is it good? Who knows, man? That's okay. I'll bail you out here, buddy. Thank you, uh, guys. Of course, you've been watching the Summit Europe Playoffs presented by Twitch. I'm LD. He's Mont. You can follow him on Twitter. He's a fantastic caster. twittercom dota 2 or HighGroundTV. twittercom HighGroundTV or uh, if you want myself. But with that being said, uh, that's going to wrap up our series for today. It's our only match for the Summit EU. We come back tomorrow for the Loser Bracket Finals and the Grand Finals. One team goes 
to Los Angeles. One team comes here to the Summit Land Finals, which will be from June 5th to 8th. Navi, DK, Vici Gaming, and a whole lot more uh, North America Rejects as well as EG. They're all waiting. One more team will join them. Will it be Fnatic? Will it be the favorites right now, Mouse Sports slash Dog? Or will it maybe be the Mighty Morphin Power Rangers? We'll have to wait and see, but for now, have a great day.